in just about an hour's time. We've got, got a lot of excitement here on the, on the sidewalk here in Brussels. We saw some French fans, some Belgian fans. Everybody's pretty pumped for that. Uh, they're also fascinated to watch what happens when President Trump gets here in just a couple of hours' time. This is a meeting of the NATO alliance, but the word for this week really is confrontation. The president, just within the past five minutes or so, tweeting from Air Force One. He says many countries in NATO, which we are expected to defend, are not only short of their current commitment of 2 percent, which is low, but are also delinquent for many years in payments that have not been made. Will they reimburse the U.S.? That is a striking comment from the president of the United States because many uh, in NATO will point out that, of course, the 2 percent spending threshold of GDP on defense is a spending threshold that these countries are expected to make and expect themselves to make on their own defense, not to the United States or to NATO necessarily. So uh, we'll see the reaction to that. Meanwhile, a lot of EU leaders here struggling with the, the question of how to respond to this aggressive tone that we've seen from President Trump here. We saw Donald Tusk, uh, the EU Council president, address the president of the United States head on today in comments here in Brussels earlier. Here's what he had to say. Dear Mr. President, please remember about this tomorrow when we meet at the NATO summit, but above all when you meet President Putin in Helsinki. It is always worth knowing who is your strategic friend and who is your strategic problem. And President Trump was asked about those comments just before he got on the airplane to fly here. Here's what the president said. We're being taken advantage of by the European Union. Uh, we lost $151 billion last year on trade. And on top of that, we spend at least 70 percent for NATO. And frankly, it helps them a lot more than it helps us. So, guys, you heard the president there deliberately conflating the issues of defense spending and trade. The president here making the case that the American taxpayer is the one being disadvantaged overall by the lack of defense spending here in the EU and the trade imbalances that he sees with this continent. So the president coming here with a set of grievances. He wants a response from these EU leaders, and we'll see tomorrow whether he gets it. He lands here in just a couple of hours' time. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.